Hi, I'm Chemistry Colleen. Welcome to my kitchen. Guess what we're going to do today? We're going to be cooking up some kitchen chemistry adventures. What are we going to make? What are we going to make? Ooh, we're going to make some warm, ooey, gooey, better than bluey bread. How do we make bread? Hmm, I got something here I'm going to show you. What is this? I know, what does that look like to you? What is that? Kind of like sand, dirt? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, something like that. Mm hmm Well, actually, you know what these are? It's yeast, and they're yeasty beasties, and they're asleep in there. They're so tired, and we need to wake them up because when they wake them up, they're the things that puff up bread and make it softer. How are we going to wake What's them that? up? How do we wake them up? Hmm, what do we have here that would wake up these yeasty beasties? <gasps> How about we splash them with some water? Would that wake you up? Yeah! yeah it would wake me up too. Let's splash it with some water. I've got this full cup of warm water. If you listen closely, you're going to hear them go, hey, what's that? Yeah, hey, what's that? They're awake. I can hear them. So I'm going to stir them around a little bit to get them swimming. What do you see? Can you see some bubbles? I see some bubbles in there. Yeah. Hmm, that means they're moving around a little bit. We got some bubbles going there. Okay, so have we finished? Is that bread? No. This one, what does this look like? Ugh, this looks like a mess, right? So we need to, hmm. Well, the yeast are waking up. How do you feel when you first wake up? What's the first thing you want to do? Eat! I know, I'm hungry too. I'm so hungry when I wake up. Hmm, what ingredients do we have here that would feel really good and feed some of these yeasty beasties? Sugar. Oh yeah, 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 sugar. Yeah, yeah, like sugar. I'm going to give them some sugar. So let's add some sugar to the yeasty beasties to give them their breakfast. Because they just woke up. Okay. I'm going to measure out the sugar with my handy dandy measuring cups. Okay. I'm going to add the sugar. Hey, they're eating up. Wait till I show you what's going on in this bowl. They're eating, but they might be eating a little too fast. Let me stir them a little bit. Let me stir them. Let me hear. What is it? They're burping! <laughs> oh, like that. Wait, what's that? Oh, at least they're being polite. I heard one of them say, pardon me. Yes, pardon me. Yes, your excuse. Yes, just a little bit too much sugar. But they're burping. They're burping up a gas called carbon dioxide. Yeah, that's what they're going. And that's going to help make the bread more poofy and soft and delicious. So let's stir them around a little bit. They're going to be burping for a while, and that's okay. Their tummies are just having fun down there. Okay. So, we still have, does that look like bread? No! No, still doesn't look like bread. Okay, what ingredient would you pick that would make it look a little more like bread? Hmm, I'm going to use the sugar. Flour. Flour? Yeah, yeah. Flour would make it look a little bit more like bread. Flour has like soft and fluffy like a cloud. It'll look a little bit more like bread. Okay, so we have to add a lot of flour. Oh, are you, re are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna add a lot of flour. 
two and a half cups. That's a lot of flour. Let's get this first one going. Oops. It's okay to make a mess in the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add one cup of flour and stir it. You know what the flour does? It makes the bread more organized. The flour molecules are called starch and they help organize the yeasty beasties. Remember before they were in the bowl and we woke them up and we fed them sugar? What happens when you wake up and you get sugar? You start running around like crazy, right? Well, they were running around and now the flower's like, mm, let's get you a little more organized. So I'm going to add the rest of this flour. What do you think is going to happen as I add more flour? It's going to get more soupy or less soupy? Less soupy. Less soupy. There's a word I'm looking for that we're making. It starts with a D. D. Do you guys know what we're making? I know we're making bread. Dough. Dough, yeah. Yeah. We take it from a soupy soup to a really chewy, gooey, gooey dough. Look at that. You can use your hands if you want. I'm not going to use my hands, but Using your hands is kind of fun to stir this stuff around. It feels so good between your fingers. Okay, we have to add a little bit more. Do you see how organized that's getting? Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Whoops. And we have a recipe for you in our Charlie's Kitchen Chemistry book. So if you're not quite following, this is something you can do at home. Oh, look at this. Oh, you guys, my arm is getting so tired. Oh. Oh. Is your arm getting tired? Are you doing this? I know. All right, you know what it's time for, don't you? When your arm gets so Okay, 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 there's my dough. You know what I've got to do? i got to do a curve. Ta-da! Like this. Okay, so i got to smush it with my hand. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Smush it around your hands. Sometimes it's a good idea I didn't do this to put flour down first. That's okay. All right. Got my ooey gooey better than bluey dough going on here. Okay. Now, there's a two more ingredients here. I don't know if you can see them. One is salt and one is oil. And I gotta make this bread a little less sticky. How do I go from sticky to slippery? Which one of those two would you pick? Oil. Oil, yeah, oil makes things slippery. So I'm gonna put a little dab of oil in my bread. My hands are all sticky. Ooh. Okay, sometimes just using the lid is all you need. Just need a little dab. So we wanna make our dough a little more slippery. It's a little too sticky. I'm gonna make a little hole for it. There we go. So, oops. Ah, much better. Do you see that? Now I've got a little more slippery dough. Slippery dough is so much better. So, what's the last ingredient? What's that? Salt. Salt. Yeah, what does salt do? Why do we add salt? It's funny because salt makes things salty, right? And we don't want our bread salty. So why do we add salty or salt? We add salt because it makes the yeasty beasties and everything else that's going in here softer. I know it's kind of weird, right? But there's molecules called proteins and it helps with the proteins a little bit. There's something called gluten and it'll make your bread chewier so that it's not like a dry two day old bread. So if you want chewy bread, you add a little bit of salt. And I'm going to put it in my hand. 
just a tiny bit. You don't want too much. Just a tiny bit and then sprinkle that around in the bed. Now I'm doing something kind of funny you might have noticed. I'm going to start pushing my knuckles down in there. Mm. It's called kneading. No, not like, you know, you think you need a nap. Not like you need a nap. It's kneading like K-N-E-A-D. And we're kneading the bread. And we're doing that. It's like mixing the bread. And it's like the bread is exercising, okay? So we've got little bread, we're helping it exercise. You see it bending and stretching. Can you do that? Can you bend and stretch like we're stretching the bread and then we're bending it? That's like kneading the bread. And normally we do this for a long time. So pretend I've done this for a long time. Okay, now we've got our nice little dough here. And are you tired? Kind of tired too, right? We've been at this for a while. So I'm going to take a nap. I'm also going to can we say good night to our dough. We got a couple good of, night, dough. I'm take a little, little nap here. Late night, dough. It's going to take about a two hour nap. I'm going to cover it the whole way. It's going to take about a two hour nap. And when we get back, it's going to be big. It's going to grow sleeping is really helpful to make us grow and it's going to grow too. So we're going to give it its nice little nap. Okay, I'll see you in about two or three hours. Hey guys, I think the bread's ready to wake up from its nap. I'm feeling pretty energized. I don't know about you guys. Okay, let's pull back the covers. Hello, sleeping bread dough. Let's pull these back. <gasps> Whoa! This bread got so big. Whoa, wow, 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 that is awesome. Okay, well, we're not done yet. Okay, you guys, are you ready for this next step? I'm rolling up my sleeves, I hope you are too. I'm gonna take our really big puffy ball of dough and we're gonna dump it out. Okay, oh, it's so nice and fluffy. Ooh. Woo, that got nice and big. Look at the bowl. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, I put some parchment paper down here so I don't make a big mess. And the next thing we're going to do is we got to punch the dough. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> There's the punch. All right, we're trying to get all those carbon dioxide bubbles out of the bread. Do you see kind of those? You can see them a little bit. Have you ever had bread that has holes in it? Like you, and your jelly seeps through when you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? That's what we're trying to avoid. So the next thing we do is remember we were kneading it? We're going to knead it one more time. So I'm going to go back and continue to knead this bread. Okay, so you got this to see. You can see it there. I'm going to finish kneading this bread. Okay, the bread is ready to go in the oven. I put it in a pan and it's going to go into an oven at 350 degrees. Okay, the oven's all set, preheated to 350 degrees. So, and we've got our bread right here. I'm going to open the oven door. Oh, it's nice and toasty in there. Ah, okay. I'm going to put in our bread. And y'all, we got a tiny loaf here, so you could do this in a toaster oven or even in a pizza oven. Okay, this cooks for about 30 minutes, and we're going to have some delicious, delicious bread. You guys, it's ready. Let's take a look. This is so exciting. <gasps> Whoa, there's our bread. And you guys, I wish we had smell-o-vision. This smells so good, so good, so good, so good. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. This is going to be fantastic.
I can't wait to put some yummy jam on that. Yum, yum, yum. Thanks for making bread with me, everyone, and helping me through it. It was so much fun. Thank you.